session is induction meeting and uh, the virtual induction meeting of IGNU Regional Center of Coaching. For uh, the newcomers, I should say, this induction meeting is the first meeting where we say that the admission process is over and you have to avail of the services from the L learner support center. And at the outset, we place our acknowledgement for giving this WebEx facility to Dr. B. Sukumar, Regional Director, R.C. Trivandra. The uh, session is on how to study with the IGNU. And uh, we, in this, we have to say what are the objectives of IGNU. And uh, it is given in the prospectus already. That is to advance and disseminate the learning and knowledge uh, by uh, diverse means to provide the opportunities of higher education to a segment of population to promote educational well-being of the community and the features of IGNU we want to highlight once again because suppose you are uh, at Cochin Regional Center and you have a mobility outside India or within India it has its national and international reach and it has flexible entry qualifications and so if sub by chance you are unable to finish it within the minimum period, you can stretch it to the maximum period. And beyond that, you have to take fresh admission again. And you can ask for credit transfer. And there are wide variety of academic programs available at affordable cost. So besides what you are doing, you can add some more programs to your education qualification so that it is facilitated on long run and flexibility in terms of place, stay, and duration of study. So wherever you are, because this uh, uh, virtual situation has become new normal, the uh, IGNU also resort to the virtual means of reaching out uh, to the learners. And it has an effective and interactive student support service network. And the achievements of IGNU are its recognition a center of excellence in distance education by the Commonwealth of Learning, the award of excellence for distance education material by Commonwealth of Learning, and UNESCO is also declared as the largest institution of higher learning in the world in 2010, and it is the largest network of learning uh, support system. It has been accredited by A plus plus by the NACA in 2021. And when you study with the IGNU, you should know what are the deadlines. Sir. So deadlines may be extended, keeping view the policy of the uh, uh, in government, sometimes the uh, institution, sometimes for local relevance also, the LSE may extend the deadline. And know also the rules. What are the, the rules will tell you what are the things which govern. And if it is not do, uh, done in the proper time and by you as a learner, there is possibility that the access of the program will have some hurdles towards successful completion. And know the prerequisites for the program. That is what you have to do as a uh, co-requisite or a prerequisite for the successful completion of the program. For, for example, you need to uh, submit the exam form, whether you know it or not, whether it will be, it will be convenient for you or not, irrespective of your current situation, so that it can you can uh, be uh, made available to write your examination. And independent learning, uh, it's also possible. So with the theory counseling is not compulsory. And practical counseling for selected program is face-to-face -face mode in, in, in this current situation. And you can self-face it to suit the uh, duration of the program of study. And how to study with IGNU? Uh, please do the self-check exercises while study, which are inbuilt in the study material. So when you uh, have the uh, content that is the self-check material done, the study material done, it will have an interactive tone and in between it will have its self-check exercises. And attend the theory counseling. Many a time of now, if new uh, academic counselors are added and newly scheduled, the theory counselings are held afresh. The recordings are uploaded in the YouTube. So if it, till you get your own schedule, you, you can see the recorded videos and be benefited. 
and do the assignment question after studying. The old question paper uh, uh, that is for the term and examination is also available in the. So generally it is set for the June and the December term and examination. We solve quite a, uh, uh, say at least five or six per session. The old question paper, you can be thorough with your syllabus. And uh, with this, I just hand over the session to uh, Mrs. Sujini Babu, who will be, will be talking about the significance of enrollment number, the difference between admission and pre-registration, the minimum and maximum period of study made available uh, at IGNO. Over to Ms. Sujini Babu. Uh, good morning, all. Uh, today, I'm going to share some details on the program you have enrolled, enrollment number allotted to you by the university, difference between fresh admission and re-registration, maximum period to complete the program, that means validity of your registration. So first I will be talking about the program. Are you aware of what all you have to know while studying with IGNO related to the program of study? You should know the program code, program title, the course code, and the course title. For example, if you have enrolled for Masters in Psychology, MAPC is your program code. And the program title is Master of Arts in Psychology. The course codes and the course title for MAPC, MPC1. Cognitive Psychology, Learning and Memory. Here, MPC1 is your course code and Cognitive Psychology, Learning and Memory is the course title. One more exa example I will say, MPC2, Lifespan Psychology. Here, MPC2 is the course code and Lifespan Psychology is the course code. So this way, for each program, we have course code and course title. You have to be well aware of your course code, program code, course title, while submitting your assignments and uh, writing your examination. Next, I'll be uh, explaining to you about the enrollment number. Enrollment number is allotted to you by the university. So what is enrollment number? where you can find your enrollment number? The answer is, once you submit your online application form for admission and your admission is confirmed, you will be allotted with a unique number, which is the enrollment number. Enrollment number uh, was nine digits uh, unique number for those who registered till July 2019 uh, session. However, those who have registered after July 2019, that means from January 2020 session, you will get an enrollment number with 10 digits. So uh, it is applicable to you also. You will be having an enrollment number with 10 digits. The university identify the student by the enrollment number. Therefore, it is mandatory to mention your enrollment number while you communicate with the university regarding your program Enrollment number is mentioned in your university ID card, which can be downloaded from IGNO website. So I hope you are all are uh, clear about it. Uh, the third part is the difference between fresh admission and re-registration. When you come to the regional center or study center, you will be asked for whether you are a fresh student or a RR student. Hence, First, you should know the difference between fresh admission and re-registration. When you register with IGNO for the first time, either in first semester or first year, for any program is on offer is called fresh admission. Whereas re-registration is when you register for your second year or second semester. <laughs> Sorry. 
it is not mandatory that you have to complete all components of your first year, first semester, or register uh, for registering your second year and second semester. A university has made it convenient to the student to take fresh admission and also to take re-registration through online from the ICNO website. And now, a uh, maximum period to complete the program. It indicates the validity of registration. Each program of the university has its minimum and maximum period of study to facilitate flexible way. It is very important that the learner is well aware of the valid period of their registration. There were instances like the student submitting the project report or dissertation after expiry of the validity of registration and the result of the same has been withheld by the university. So to know your registration validity, you may visit the university website. Student has the choice to complete the program either within the minimum or maximum period of validity. Hope you all have got an idea about your program, enrollment number, study center, and valid validity of your registration. So that brings me to the end of my session. Thank you all. Next, I request Mr. Sebastian De Cruz, EDP of Regional Center Coaching, to deliver a brief about ICNO RC Coaching infrastructure and facilities at LSE. Over to Sebastian, sir. Thank you, Mrs. Sujini, madam. Dear ladies, good morning and welcome to the section to know about ICNO, ICNO Regional Center and facilities at learner support centers. The IGNO Indirati National Open University was established by an act of parliament in 1985. When you see the history of IGNO, initially IGNO used to have one regional center for each state. Therefore, in Kerala, IGNO started first regional center at the heart of Kerala at Cochin University campus in 17th November 1988. From there, we shifted to rendered building at Mamangalam, Karnavalam. From there, again shifted to Horon building at Kalur in 2003 and catches all districts of Kerala and Union Territory of Lakshadweep. Due to more number of enrollment number, Igno decided to open one more regional center at our capital city Trivandrum in 2009, which is Kollam Patanadatta Trivandrum districts. Then again, from the northern part of Kerala, Igno found students are facing difficulties to assess region centers of Cochin and Trivandrum. Igno decided to open one more RCH Vadagara in 2011, which carries districts of Malapuram, Kolkot, Kannur, Vayanad and Kasaragod. Now, presently, Regional Center catches with the six districts of Kerala, Arnagulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kotem, Idiki, and Alapura, and Union Territory of Lakshadweep. Infrastructure. The we have a four-story old building which was inaugurated in 2003 and houses the RC office, the Gandhi, uh, Ganwani FM radio station, computer lab, classrooms, conference halls, guest rooms, recreation room, and library. The second six-story new building which was inaugurated in 2016 and houses the Region Evaluation Center, Southern Regional Evaluation Center, the Study Center 14000, and the Study Material Warehouse. To assess our um, region center, our region, Cochin Region Center offices at a prominent and very conveniently accessible location, and it is the heart of Cochin Town. RC office is very much near to Kalur Metro Station and Kalur Pride Bus Stand. From there, RC office is only walkable distance from the from our office, maximum of 200 meters. 
for the students who are coming by train can get down at Ernaulam North Station or Ernaulam South Junction. From there also, you can reach our office by Metro Railway or private bus or by auto taxi with a minimum uh, minimum cost. KSRTC main bus stand is also very much near to our office. Then come to the website. For student, for a student, they have to visit mainly two websites. Our main website www.igno.ac.in, which is maintained by headquarters. The other one is RC website. Every real center has their own website, which is mainly caters to the needs of the learners of that region. Our region region center website http double colon double slash rccochin.igno.ac.in Igno main website caters to the needs of common uh, needs common to all students requirement information across our country. Meanwhile RC website is for specific needs which is specific for regional center. Main website. Uh, students can download ID cards, prospectus, study materials, assignment question papers, program grade, old question papers, exam day sheets from our main website. Prospectus is for getting general information of the programs avail available at IGNO, details of schools, contact details of university, UGC circulars regarding our programs, general forms, etc. But program guide is the specific for the program you are pursuing. This will get along with your study materials and also you can download from our website. So students should read carefully this program guide, which will help you for a successful completion of your program. Old question papers can be used for their study and practice and you will get patterns of question papers and marking schemes of our time examination. After scheduling time and examination, exam day sheet is also available on our website at home page. Now, uh, what, what are the things we can do with the main website? As you know, uh, you can take admission, fresh admission through this website and re-registration, it is already explained by Sujit Madam, and exam form submission, revaluation request submission, convocation registration. Assignment question papers are available to download student support services. Prospectus is for getting all the information such as programs available, school details and everything. Then, as, as you know, as you know, you can take admission registration at our, our online registration link. From the link, you can also do the registration for next year and semester. Exam form submission, revaluation. If you are not satisfied with the grace awarded by the evaluator. At the time of exam form submission, you can select any exam center across the country. All the learners, all the learning centers are not exam center. Only selected centers are specific for payment exemption center. You can select the consent region center, and from there you can select an exam center which is um, convenient for that student. This will be valid only for that section. No, for this, no need to change RC or SC for this. After successful completion and getting mark list and provisional certificates, student can register for upcoming convocation at the link of convocation. Provisional certificate and the final mark list will reach at your state address within uh, after completing your program. Uh, that is within uh, 60 to 75 days. 
you will get the process certificate at your address, at home address. No need to pay or apply for this. Through our main website, we can we can check exam result, assignment mark, status under change, status, address change status, and study material respect status. Now again, uh, induction guidelines. We can download induction guidelines, brochures, newsletters, and council schedule from our main website. Induction guidelines is the main document for a student. Students should read it carefully for their successful completion of their program. All the doubts arise at the uh, studying time that uh, all the doubts uh, they can clear at the, the induction guidelines because uh, change of address, change of uh, uh, real center, and uh, uh, for how to apply for examination center and everything is available there with a separate separate head, heading and also um, you can what are the people to whom to contact everything is also available in, in induction guidelines process are prepared by the rc with the general information now the newsletter it is prepared by the rc and uploaded it is periodical letter published by rc containing day-to-day -day activities, academic activities relevant to the learners and will get updates, updated news. Counseling schedule is, is also we can download by the uh, from this link. All these uh, counseling schedules are uh, uh, counseling schedules are scheduled by study center only. Students can submit their assignments at their study center only. If any students could not submit, they can submit online link for uploading soft copies of assignments at home page of RC website. Students can get information regarding study center programs activated, Facebook live section schedule, council schedule, practical exam internship project viva schedules and everything is available in our website. Status center details are uploaded in the home page of our RC website. Um, there you can see the contact details, programs activated and uh, uh, mobile numbers of and uh, contact telephone numbers are also available there. Academic counseling are scheduled by study center on course based. Till 2020, study centers were conducted counseling face to face mode. Currently, due to pandemic situation, they are conducting online and virtual mode. Recorded sections are available in IGNO real web, regional website and also in our uh, main website. Practical sessions are practical counseling sessions are conducted their study centers. For practicals, attendance are compulsory. Minimum 70% attendance is required uh, for uh, taking practical at, uh, examination. Therefore, always students should in touch with the log, uh, learner service, support service center for this. Now, tutor mark assignments. Students are expected to expected or compulsory to submit assignments at study center before applying and appearing payment examination. And their assignments, assignment marks are transmitted to headquarters and will publish in our uh, grade card. And we can you can check in our website. We are advised to students to collect the evaluated assignments from study center so that you can use this for preparing payment examination. Study center will guide you on project and internship fieldwork and workshop, etc. Theory and 
Tamil exams is identified. Okay. Sorry. Then uh, YouTube channels and uh, Facebook live section and uh, is uh, IDs are uploaded in our RC websites also. Uh, thank you. And uh, um, ne for next session, I am handing over to Dr. Prasida Unikrishnan Mahal. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, thank you, Sebastian, sir. Uh, so now I will be taking a very warm welcome to all uh, dear learners of the January 2022 session. I'm sure you have got a brief idea uh, about the, uh, from this induction meeting about how you have to uh, get your enrollment number and how you have to download your ID card. So now this session, I would be talking about the fee refund for special clientele and the scholarship uh, prerequisites which are available for our IGNO students. So basically, uh, you have this direct benefit scheme wherein a complete uh, fee exemption is provided, wherein a complete fee exemption is provided to students. Uh, the list of uh, fee exemption for SCST students is available on on the RC coaching website, we have already uploaded the list. So in the direct benefit scheme, the students do not have to pay any fees. And by uploading their caste certificate and a declaration, self-declaration that they are not employed, they can avail this benefit of direct benefit scheme. And then you have the Kerala State Government Scholarship.
sorry for the brief interruption. Now I continue with my uh, session. Uh, the, it was about a scholarship for the differently abled. You can visit the website of National Handicap Finance and Development Corporation, wherein there are various schemes which are available for the persons with uh, disability. And these schemes uh, can be availed by our uh, learners uh, who have some disabilities and uh, they can avail these benefits directly through this website that is the www.nhfdc.nic.in. So basically, this was all which I had, ha I had to share about the scholarship schemes which are available for the benefit of IGNO students. Now I request my colleague, Dr. B.T. Jelja Kumari, to kindly take her session on availability of IGNO study materials in e Kyan Kosh, online counseling, internal assessment at IGNO, and examination and convocation. A very warm welcome to uh, the resource person, Dr. B.T. Jelja Kumari, Assistant Regional Director. Over to you, ma'am. Good morning, all once again. Thank you, Dr. Prasida. Now, you have already received almost the preliminary information regarding your admission, your enrollment number, what all facilities are available at your regional center, at study center, etc. Now, we will be eagerly sitting to hear about uh, what about the study materials because students are giving more importance and uh, their focus is on study materials first immediately after getting enrolled. So let me tell you about the study materials available in IGNO for your programs course-wise. Uh, sometimes some students may know that IGNO is the biggest university or biggest open university in the world and uh, this mega university got the Award of Excellence for Distance Education. Uh, the main reason for that was the excellence of the study materials. And this award was received uh, by Commonwealth of Learning in 1999. And that excellence of our study materials have to be experienced by the learners. Uh,
ஒன்ஸ் and in blocks study materials are given or written in units so the form of study material i'll tell you once again program wise you will get study materials uh, in several courses and each course study material is prepared in several blocks and each block contains units like that study materials are prepared in hard copy and soft copy also like that only because the same thing is given in digital form when you study and uh, go through the unit structure there are many strategies for learning means self checking machines are there so exercises are given for self check summary of each unit is given and then questions will be there uh, for checking your progress so that you can do well in your term and examinations and at the same time you can prepare the assignments very nicely if we are following all the strategies given in this study materials now the soft copy study material is how to be if the if the student is uh, opted for e study material means soft copy you can download it from e gyan kosh e gyan kosh is the repository study material repository and the digital repository of uh, indira gandhi national open university and from the main website of ignu you can locate e gyan kosh and this picture this a slide provides you the facility to find it out so in the e gyan kosh uh, there are two components communities in e, e gyan kosh and at the same time the slm for different cbcs courses so in the communities there is secondly it is given ignu self learning material that is known in brief s l m self learning material if you click on this slm that will be open for you to download then you can click on the uh, school given means all the schools will be shown there you can click on one school means in which school your program is uh, arranged or in which school your program is included you can click on that then uh, different levels of programs will be appearing means level means master degree level bachelor degree level certificate diploma like that so your program level it can locate then click on that then it will again show uh, courses if you are clicking on uh, ma english meg program then the courses means the papers you have selected at the time of your admission will be shown there so one by one you can click on that and each block you can download this is the way to download the soft copy of the study material from e gyan kosh you can view also that and after that you can do all this procedure for downloading at the same time see procedure to download study materials from igni e kanda again we have given there another option and another facility for so igni has an android app means a google app you uh, from play store you can download it ignu e content app and when you click on this ignu e content app this will appear like this so first it will come come as ignu e content then uh, as i told for e gyan kosh master degree bachelor degree like that all levels of programs will be shown you can click on that and in the same way how you were downloading the uh, study material from the e gyan kosh you can download from this e content app using your android mobile phone so definitely this will help you to study at any where if you are traveling somewhere if you are in the train if you are not at home then also you can study your thing if you are not uh, facilitated with your laptop then also you can study you know uh, materials using your android phone that is the facility especially given for this android app see 
the slides given for the uh, the things I have shared with you. Like this, all programs will be shown. Now, how the study materials are dispatched? Study materials are given directly from headquarters. Uh, material uh, uh, division is there. From there, study materials are dispatched to your address. And some of the study materials, if it is not given, uh, if it is not reaching to you directly, if some error is there, te some technical issue is there in the postal department or uh, in the address uh, area or somewhere, it will come back to our regional center and again we will send this study material to your address. So that facility is also there like that. You can track the study material status, dispatch status from the IGNU website. The link is given here and using this link, that is sgtp ignu.ac.in means this link is given in the ignu.ac.in main website of IGNU. There you will get division MPDD material. There you can track your study material because when you are clicking on that, your enrollment they will ask. So your credentials, if you are giving your credentials, definitely where the study material will be shown means it is dispatched or under processing like that it will give you information then there is no need to worry about the availability of study materials that facility is also there in the e-support system of IGNO. Now uh, this is the screenshot of the IGNO.ac.in IGNO about IGNO material link. This way it will show. So you can click on the year of your admission, the session of your admission. Then you can go for your study material status. Then now uh, you are aware about the study material provisions. Uh, it's a downloading and all. So definitely we are thinking of online counseling. Immediately after getting the study material, students may think to get a counseling session or a help from an academic counselor. So the terminology we are using here, it is different from teaching because in counseling sessions, the academic counselors, the approved academic counselors who are uh, eligible for handling your study materials and your content area as per UGC uh, norms, because the academic counseling is given by the UGC approved teachers of regular colleges and they are well versed in the content matters and they are experienced also. They are supporting you by giving needed information regarding the content. Means never in an open distance learning system, teachers can complete your syllabus. That is not possible. So as per university norms, there are uh, restricted uh, class sessions are there. In these class sessions, students has to cooperate with the teachers you have to ask your questions, your queries, your doubts regarding the study material. That means you have to be familiar with the study materials before entering the counseling sessions. Nowadays, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sebastian Saros, uh, he told that the counseling sessions are given online or virtual mode. Sometimes in the recorded form also you will get, but even though at the counseling sessions, you can ask your particular questions to the counselors who are available in the sessions and uh, course wise uh, teachers means this counselors will provide you counseling sessions these counseling sessions are conducted it uh, the technical uh, activities and technical support is given by regional center but the counseling sessions are provided to you by the learner support centers learner support centers means your study centers you are, they are using online platforms Sometimes maybe Google Meet, otherwise maybe the Mrs. Ogadets like this. So whatever it may be, that will be informed you in earlier. And these counseling sessions will be intimated to you by SMS or email from regional center. That is what the arrangements we are doing for counseling sessions. During this counseling session, students, uh, you please uh, listen that we are recording all the counseling sessions because sometimes uh, you may not be able to attend the counseling sessions. You may not be in a position to see the uh, counseling sessions. So we are providing you an opportunity to read and uh, 
attend the counseling. Attend means not physically attending, but in the recorded sessions will help you to go through the already done counseling sessions. That also very much helpful for you. And uh, we are uploading these counseling recorded counseling sessions in our uh, YouTube. Means regional center coaching's YouTube link. It will be available. So the YouTube link, the YouTube uh, accessibility, everything was already given. At the time of counseling sessions, you may keep your position well. Means in a well managed. Sometimes, sometimes not sometimes. Always you are at home, so you don't uh, come before the camera or the screen in a casual manner because it is being recorded. And this recorded things, uh, those are also giving. So come in a formal way, uh, in your dress, in your sitting, in your appearance, and all. And uh, at the time of your class, we'll provide you a link for giving attendance. You give your attendance there and the session sessions will be recorded with the, all these results I already told you and it will be available in the website. Now, uh, we have discussed about, means I have given you information regarding study materials, it's a downloading and uh, counseling sessions. Now, the second thing, as a learner, you have to focus on the uh, assessment provisions. Means after learning, you will be assessed by the university. There are two provisions for assessment, internal and external. So, in as in regular system, there are many mechanisms to do internal assessment in IGNU also. So, let us see what are these internal assessment mechanisms and what are the external assessment mechanisms. Mainly, Assignment is the first thing students are doing for internal assessment. So this assess, uh, assignments will help you to study the content matter well in advance before the examination. So it is a prerequisite for uh, attending the examination. After reading the study material well, after clearing your doubts by further learning, you can prepare the assignments. Then you will be thinking that from where you will get the assignment questions and all that I will tell you. Uh, in a brief, I will tell you the other uh, internal assessment mechanisms. That is, the other one of the other things uh, mechanism is internship. Internship is not a compulsory component for all programs, but some of the programs, especially some uh, PG programs and uh, uh, some rare uh, bachelor degree programs, there are internships and projects also like that. And for some other programs, workshops are there. So as per your program, it varies. And in your project, in your program guide, specifically it is given, you know. And at the counseling sessions also, teachers will tell you what all, uh, things you have to do. And in your peer uh, group also, you may get the information of what all uh, internship uh, is done to be done, what project is uh, to be done, whether it project is available or whether project is uh, given for your program. Like that, you will get all the information regarding the internal assessment mechanisms of your program. So, program-wise, it differs. For some programs, practicals are there. Uh, you know that uh, computer programs, BCA, MCA, and all the that programs have compulsory components. So, the counseling sessions, when I'm telling about the counseling sessions, the theory counseling sessions are not a compulsory component. I'm telling you only in, in the technical way, but as a student, you have the right to attend all the counseling sessions. That is the uh, credit uh, means. Means the credits of each course means that how much of time you have to spend for. So counseling sessions are also coming under that. So counseling session as a good student, it is compulsory, but technically it is not compulsory. Means theory counseling. But the practical counseling, project, internship, workshop, field works, etc., assignment, all are compulsory components of your program. There is no relaxation for that. You have to uh, attend all these internal assessment mechanisms 100 per second. The assignment responses you are preparing, you can send by post. At the same time, you can by hand, you can drop it at the, in the study center. Uh, and uh, Online also, you can submit your assignments. So these are the provisions for submitting your assignments. By post, you can submit. By hand, by uh, putting in the Dropbox at LSE, 
and you can submit the assignments written in the online link. You may be uh, doubtful about all these cases and I am telling because uh, you are the newly enrolled students. So I will tell you something more, little bit more about these things. For whatever uh, mode you are going to uh, adopt for submission of assignment, it doesn't matter, but you have to write your assignment by hand. You cannot copy it from somewhere. You cannot print it. You cannot type it because you have to write uh, first itself. I told you it is a learning strategy. It will help you to study the thing. If you are using your um, brain, your hand, your uh, all that uh, psychomotor domains, if you are using, you can study the things well. So it is compulsory to write the assignments by hand in your own handwriting. Then you will be thinking about the assignment questions. That is also available in the IGNO website. See, this slide shows you the website uh, screenshot. The main website home page. Home is there about IGNO, you know, register online and in student support by uh, as name shows. This link is for uh, supporting the learners in many ways. So this uh, encircled title you have seen, that is downloads. You click on that. There, assignments are given. So you click on assignment, you will get the assignments of your programs like this. Scroll it down, or up, and you can locate your program there, and you can locate the courses there in this assignment response questions. Like that, when you are going to submit your assignment in uh, soft copy, means through a link, there will be a link created by the study center like this. And this is the previous session's link. And you will get a link like this in this regional center website. Regional website, I will tell you once again, that is www.rccoaching.ignu.ac.in. There, in the assignment submission link is given. You can click on that. And the guidelines will be uh, shown there. It is there. You can go through the guidelines given in the website. After reading all the instructions given, you can submit your assignment there. Some main uh, guidelines given or the points given in the guidelines, I will uh, remind you, only scanned copy of handwritten assignments uh, can be submitted through this permission. And you may keep your uh, file, the scanned copy file, uh, below maximum 100 MB. Means if, uh, better always if it is being below 100 MB and uh, in the form of document or PDF, you can do it. You cannot submit your assignments through any of the email of regional center or any of the offices or whatever it may be. So it is not allowable to send the assignments in the email address of the uh, IGNU and the IGNU fraternity. You have to submit it only for the registered courses. That is also one major thing I have to remind you. Because before writing your assignments, you may check your registration status or what all courses you have registered. You uh, fix on that. Then you download the assignment question. Then write for that courses only. For each course, one assignment will be there. One assignment response at a time. Means from if you are submitting a hard copy, if you are uh, submitting again in uh, soft copy for assurance, no, it is not allowed. You select only one mode. At the same time, submit one assignment in the given link. Sometimes there may be five courses or four courses. <coughs> you are thinking that uh, one by one you can download, you can scan all the assignments and you can submit in one click. No, it is not allowed because the academic counselors of each course is different. We are sending it for uh, evaluation for different, different, to different, different persons, not to one person. So it will be very much difficult uh, and it is a um, wrong procedure if you are submitting all assignments in one stretch. So separately you prepare assignment, separately you scan it, keep in separate file, submit in separate uh, submissions. Means several times, five courses are there, five times you have to submit separately. Your enrollment number, and other student details should be given in the prescribed format. 
and uh, while scanning uh, you uh, listen your uh, document scan should be in a very readable manner it should be readable otherwise the evaluator cannot evaluate it well because the 30 percentage of, of the internal uh, your total score 30 percentage will be for your assignment always you remember that if your assignment is not in a readable form the evaluator uh, will be forced to give you a very less mark that will affect your total grade so you always try to get the uh, almost full or otherwise if you are getting full it is always better to add on uh, your uh, uh, scoring of total uh, marks the other mechanisms as i told one is practical so this practical sessions will be informed to you and that will be conducted at the study center itself field work workshops are there that will also be done at the study center you, are, you can do your internship internship can be conducted in some other institutions where these internship facilities are given for example if i am telling that uh, you are a student of mapc and uh, uh, there are uh, many options are there three options are there counseling psychology um, clinical psychology and organization psychology is there if you are opting clinical psychology definitely you have to go to an institute where clinical uh, counseling is going on and with the permission of the regional center with the permission of the institution uh, you have to go there as per the direction given in the program guide uh, for how many hours you have to do that for how many months you have to be there like that you have to arrange and uh, arrange all the time frame and everything for getting these uh, facilities in the external institution and do your internship there prepare the internship uh, record there get the uh, means assessment from the concerned person in that institution at the same time from your academic counselor you have to get the assessment and all these mechanisms are there for internal assessment of internships so the, this information will be there in the uh, handbooks you have many other uh, write-ups uh, we are providing you for your uh, guidelines other than that of the prospectus program guide handbooks are there practical workbooks are there uh, otherwise sometimes it may be um, practical guide like that so all this may be available along with your study materials and you can download also and the directions and guidelines for uh, doing all these works will be also available like that mini projects and uh, uh, other dissertations not many major dissertations are also there for some programs dissertations are there projects are there for some other programs it is not uh, given incorporated and uh, some projects have viva oc and some other projects have there is no viva oc you can submit your projects directly uh, to headquarters and some of the projects are submitted at the regional center so like that so many guidelines are there concerned with each uh, courses of each program so you please go through patiently you don't be worried by hearing all these things at a time you can follow everything very slowly uh, in a patient manner you can go through these guidelines uh, given in the concerned write-ups or guides like that the final thing is time and examination so preparation of assignment submission its evaluation and automatically other technical things will come through you know you don't worry about it but you have to track everything through your grade cards and the system is given in the registration uh, status portal then finally the time and examination that is the external examination mode so external viva oc is also like time and examination that is also external but other internships and other things are there if viva oc project submission internship record submission is there it is also an external mechanism for assessing you along with final time and examinations are there for theory and practical for that you have to register uh, prior to the examination that will be uh, notified in the ignu website always be in touch with the ignu website register for the time and examination on time the time and examination fee 
and the uh, courses for which you, are, you have to register, everything will be there in the link. IGNU is conducting payment examinations in June and December months of every year. Because you know that we have two sessions of admission, July and January. Like that, we have examinations in two sessions, June session and December session. Both the sessions you can ask for the registration, completion and validity you can. So, in connection, in connection with this, so many other information are also there. Later you will get, uh, gradually you will get all the information from uh, our end because uh, already the guidelines for your study has been given through a link from the admission session that also you have to read very keenly and you, you have to keep it always with you. Then, uh, I told you, online application you have to be for payment examination and assignment submission is the prerequisite for that. As of now, exam fee is 200 per course. And uh, the whole ticket can be downloaded from website because IGNU is totally um, an e-support system, e-supportive system. And uh, so now you are thinking that where we can write your, write my examination like that. We have examination centers. Our examination centers are our learner support centers. That doesn't mean that all learner support centers are our examination centers. Some of our uh, learner support centers are identified as examination centers. So when you are uh, uh, registering your online examination form, there the list of examination centers available in each city is given. So as per your convenience, all over India, you can write examination and you can select your studies. Once again, I am uh, telling you that you can write examination anywhere in India in a usual procedure. So you can register from your place. If you are at Cochin, you can register for your examination uh, well in advance. Uh, in another place, if you have planned your journey and uh, other your professional matters in other city, you can well in advance plan it and you can uh, register for your examination in that place. If you are planning to write your examination abroad, then it has to be done through an international division. IGNU is having a division named the International Division at Headquarters, IGNU Headquarters at Delhi. If you have to uh, uh, process your application through International Division to get examination centers outside India. That is the uh, one of the important information I have to share with you. After your examination, Almost within 45 days, not almost. Nowadays, within 45 days, we are declaring our results and uh, students will get uh, their provisional certificate and mark list first from headquarters directly to your address without paying any fee or something. Without registering, you will automatically get the provisional certificate and uh, uh, original mark list in your hand by post from IGNU headquarters. But your original degree certificate will be given only in the convocation. So IGNU convocation is also an important event every year. This time in uh, uh, April 26th, we are conducting the 35th convocation. I'm just giving you that information. It's not connected with you. It is not uh, relevant for you because you are just ended for our uh, learning, uh, our studies. So at the end of your program, you will have a convocation and through convocation, you will get the certificates. If you are not able to uh, attend or the university is not uh, providing the facility for all students, because nowadays we are uh, going through so many half hazards like pandemics and other things. So sometimes you may have some mechanism for restri restricting the number of students at all, even though you will get your uh, convocation, uh, your uh, material, sorry, your certificate after convocation of directly from regional centers and in absentia also by post. For this also, you have to register in advance. So there is a, there will be a link of convocation in the main IGNU website. Click on that, register for that, pay the amount given there and get ready for receiving your final certificate in different forms as per your convenience and as per the uh, direction of the university. Uh, directly you can receive at convocation 
at the same time you can directly collect it from the regional center and also you will get it by post if you are requesting for that this is the mechanism for uh, receiving your uh, certificate these are the uh, things i have to uh, convey with you and uh, i invite our respected regional director ma'am dr dorathy ma'am for uh, telling you something about life skills for a distance learner thank you very much for listening thank you ma'am the life skill for a distance learner is a uh, uh, this uh, relates to what are the skills you need to know when it comes to studying uh, as a distance learner the world health organization has defined life skill as the abilities for adaptive and positive behavior that enable individuals to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of everyday life if anyone says i do not have any demand or challenge in our life we can be sure that he or she is lying so everyone has their own trouble every that's that's what they saying goes every home has its own door step so also each individual has their own demands and challenges which are dependent on the individual as such on the physical location where they are put the geographical location where they are situated and sometimes interaction between them as an individual their family and also the society it all creates different challenges and demands and with this demands and challenges when you are taking another responsibility of studying the life skill as a uh, for a distance learner seems to be a interesting topic and important topic because many a time if you uh, if i say that uh, once you enroll for a program of study we cannot do the study by listening to uh, some music or listening or engaging in a telephonic conversation or coupling with other work simultaneously so sometimes you have need to sacrifice certain of your lifestyle habits to accommodate the studying as an activity in your life and the uniqueness of studying is that it will always have spin off benefits many a time in uh, related to our career and sometimes as a personal satisfaction at individual level so what are the life skills for a distance learner it is the first one is honesty and next one is ability to take one day at a time third is persistence the next one is expression of interest the next steadfastness peer interaction so remember honesty ability to take one day at a time persistence expression of interest steadfast fastness peer interaction i'll be just touching each of the aspect when i talk about honesty as a life skill it means you are to be honest to the peers to the authority to self and to genuine in relationship these four aspects are interrelated so many a time we, the first thing we will spot in somebody's life is there whether they are true or they are trustworthy so the trustworthiness of a person comes from the quality of the honest behavior both in deeds and in speech so suppose you are borrowing some assignment help from your peer see that it you are you return it back you be honest to the authorities whether at the learner support center or at the regional center where you have to relate with what you have to do or whether you have missed it unintentionally so that when you admit it it is easy for the authorities to help to be honest to yourself many a time we keep our book open and whether we are reading it or uh, keeping a phone over it whether we are checking uh, the other related aspects other than the study all that matters a lot uh, in the honesty component of studying and being honest to yourself and being genuine in relationship as adult learners sometimes we may be um, a little elder when compared to the academic counselor elder to the staff at the lsc or at the regional center 
or sometimes we may be more exposed and having more experience when compared to the various human resources you come across. But please be genuine in your relationship as a learner because the first thing you we start, see you is a learner of IGNU rather than your profile as a person. And then be honest, honest in admitting faults. In admitting faults, what you have to be is that many a time we cannot be so perfect or uh, fit into everything because of our demands and challenges in life, uh, our ability to study besides other commitments or more. So when, uh, when we make an uh, effort or to study to ensure that there's success to the program leads to the successful completion of the program, and if by mistake or by when you are trying to do the right thing, there is some uh, fault happening, please admit it. Always when we admit a fault, it is easy for the authorities or the person at the help desk to facilitate the uh, solution or target at a solution, then trying to identify the fault themselves. Please do not blame game. Many a time we blame it on the authorities or at the LSE or at the uh, the, uh, the public persons who are dealing with uh, your transaction, like uh, like sending the email or whatever. And, and this is not going to help. So be responsible for your action and be honest of how you can take responsibility for the action. And the next one is there should not be any suppression or oppression. So when we are having heterogeneous group, many a time we find the younger learner, uh, uh, what to say, it, taking the help of an elder learner and not returning. Sometimes we also have encountered the elder learner making the, uh, the younger learner to write their assignments, etc. So please do not suppress or oppress ourselves. We have to treat another individual as a human being first. So uh, your uh, ability to take the situation into your hand should not have a hold on suppressing or oppressing your peers in the same program of study or for that matter attached to the same LSE or regional center. And then uh, the ability to take one day at a time. So have a time management. And so what we say is you earmark a, a time to study. So that is why and without worrying about tomorrow, please take one day at a time. Many a time we find that it is very difficult uh, 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 thinking, uh, sitting in today to decide of what will happen tomorrow. So try learn to face tomorrow when it comes today. And you concentrate on one task at a time even if it is the entertainment leisure time activity please concentrate one task at a time because it will help you to prioritize what you have to do and then little drops makes a mighty ocean we all have heard it right from our younger days so this applies even to the study so even if you finish one unit or one page or at least one para or one search check exercise it matters a lot in studying. And then all problems have a solution. That is, you be a bold to take the process targeting at solution rather than highlighting of who is the cause for the problem. Sometimes you may be the cause or sometimes the external factor may be the cause of the problem. That is not to be targeted when you are handling a problem. It is a, a solution. So remember, friends, that all problems have a solution. This is more so very common in uh, the distance learning system with ECO. And do at least something related to your study in a day. Something, uh, at least buying a pen, and drawing pay, uh, the margins, and downloading the assignment question paper. So like that, at least one, one activity, please uh, remember this. And at this juncture, I also want to encourage you, friends, that all these guidelines, we have put it in the website. So please download that and at least read the side editing, if not the full uh, content at the first go. The next is persistence. Please do not give up. 
whenever we start that same enthusiasm, many a time it won't be sustained due to various factors and you seems to be genuine irrespective of the uh, circumstances. At this time, only when you do not give up, the things can move. So it is over only when you give up, friends. So not only in study, in any aspects of life, please do not give up. And learning is like slow cycling. I, it relates to the earlier point which I said, little drops makes the mighty ocean. It applies to studying also. Small effort matters when it comes to uh, studying. And be optimistic. Sometimes when you download the world question paper, look at one question in your study material and you study it. See, and now the soft mat copy of the study material is freely downloadable. So you can download the soft copy, use the machine itself to search where it is located, and you can study. And be optimistic. When you think of yesterday's failures, and today's commitments and tomorrow's challenge, you cannot be optimistic. And be objective when you target a solution. It's not person specific or the situation specific. And view hurdles as a stepping stone. Sometimes we would have earmarked some period to study. On the day, you would have had some official commitments or personal commitments. Still, friends, do not give up and have a slot for study which you have enrolled. And then expression of interest. Many a time we do not express ourselves even though it is genuine. And we always think that uh, it is no, it's politeness that if we do not express. But friends, be genuine when you express yourself and do not threaten or link with your job profile when you express yourself. So where all you need to help is uh, uh, I mean, when, where all you have to express yourself is mainly when you are at the receiving end. So many a time we, we won't be under, understanding ourselves when we are at the receiving end. So we expect others to be uh, really uh, understanding ourselves. But remember, the first thing uh, to understand, to make others understand you is communication. So express yourself. And then at the help desk, be polite, you, even when you have the complaint and you are 100% right. And in IGNU, we have the inclusive or the integrated classroom, meaning even the people who are physically differently able, they can walk into any of the integrated classroom and the inclusive classroom without special assistance so that the whole uh, concept of living in a society is brought to the classroom. So at this situation, if you, are, you have special needs, always ensure that you are prepared for it, especially when you do not have any physical assistance in the form of human being being with you as attenders or caretakers. And always know where the toilet is because nature call has to be answered by everyone. Even though we display the board, sometimes you have to wait for your turn. So many a time when we are going out uh, at the entrance of the building, we will look for a, um, a place to answer our nature call. So just have your vision open when you are walking in to know where is the location and then you can understand uh, the layout of the place where you are placed to and uh, to use its facility for your personal uh, needs and the next one is personal hygiene always we say that we have to ensure that the uh, physical arrangements uh, in the restroom facilities have to be made safe and clean for the next person to be used. So even though there are no stores either at the learner support center or at the regional center to sell personal hygiene products, if you need all this, you need to bring the either the diaper or a pad. And you may, it may seem that this education is only for women, but friends, even if you are interested in any women as a learner, this personal life skill should be taught to any woman whom you know. So uh, please continue listening. And the request to exercise the element of discretion to accept beyond 
last date it rests with the lse uh, coordinator so when you are going after the last date please be polite to request them and many a time we request it in writing so that it's a document when we have to furnish it later and there will be some special need or medical need be suitable uh, be dressed to suit the special need or the medical need because it's always physically associated with our physical structure and if you think that the special need or medical need the personal hygiene the ability to regulate yourself physically all needs a spare dress please bring a spare dress so because we won't be having any disposable or nearby store to cater to you or to uh, to go on your behalf and purchase because it's like any learning institution at learner support center and regional center and steadfastness is determination to finish it so you had some determination to enroll for the program of study so also the same determination should be that to see that it is you you do certain activity related to the learning process and also ensure that the access pro access into the program of study lead to successful completion so these things you have to be uh, uh, you, you should be determined in your heart and mind and put every thing of yourself to uh, do the leisure to do the learner activity sometimes the learner learning as an activity needs dedication and it also demands sacrifice of certain leisure time activity so suppose you have the habit of when everyone is resting at home to have a uh, to watch a tv and that is the only leisure time you have then you have to mobilize that leisure time for your learning activity because this within this 24 hours whatever you have can be postponed and this learning acti activity can be highlighted so that the spin of benefits of the learning activity is given to you it can be fetched and commitment to do the best so many a time uh, the commitment dedication only have uh, the effort to get back what you have invested in learning activity so definitely hard work and commitment do not let anyone down so please uh, put yourself to for the learning activity with commitment and focus on the spin of benefits rather than on today's pleasure when you, especially when you are talking about sacrificing certain activity so definitely learning activity will have spin off benefits many a time it will help you to move in your career to keep an edge over your colleagues sometimes your seniors also and sometimes it and many at the, at the certain times it will give you a personal satisfaction that you have this information certified many have information gained but you have your information gained and certified so that is the important of certification of education qualification then peer interaction it is more and uh, needed in distance learning so because even we are away from the uh, institution away from the uh, peers and we do not know who are in the same program of study that is why uh, we uh, because the enrollment into the learning process is voluntary so and we may we may or may not know each other when we uh, get accustomed so it, it's peer interaction you have it is a necessary uh, component and uh, we this is certain precautions only we are highlighting in this as a life skill please do not join peer who are demanding or threatening many a time we find the person who created unrest is not seen in the venue people who are along with the person who created the unrest will be at the end identified by others as the problem creator so when uh, not only in learning activity in any sphere of your life if you do not join any peer who are demanding or threatening and do not join any peer who oppress or suppress others because we have to treat somebody as a human being first 
uh, then uh, associating with them uh, physically or uh, personally or socially or the career wise in the professional level and do not join peer who initiate unrest and many a time uh, just like uh, uh, you i should say we are uh, we means the authorities of at regional center are also the first time getting accustomed to the learner when we are uh, meeting them because virtually meeting an individual to ascertain the qualification the entry criteria for enrollment is different but the, their personal behavior face to face is also different not uh, the same in all the individuals so be cautious of whom you are associating as even the distance teaching institution do not have any confidential profile of individual learner so with this i hand over the section to dr prasita unikrishnan uh, who will be highlighting of what you have heard so far so that uh, it can be summed up and uh, it will also serve as a uh, checklist for the learner and uh, uh, remember friends always uh, the story of uh, uh, the the ass which was dumped by its own boss actually the uh, when it comes to taking situations into your custody and viewing it in an optimistic manner so what happens is happened was a uh, boss abandoned the ass in a small pit because it is not serving its uh, purpose and started to put mud over it but every time the mud was put the ass started to jump and uh, climb on the mud so at one level it was standing eye level to the boss and then it said uh, i know sir you will rescue me i think uh, uh, because of my old age i have fallen accidentally into the pit and it that made the boss very uh, the boss of the ass very uh, delicate and he felt bad but what is more interesting for us as a learner is the attitude of the as it had its own commitment it had its own responsibility of accepting that it has fallen instead of blaming somebody and then it had the presence of mind to do what you have to do when you are in a challenging position and it could acknowledge who helped irrespective of uh, whether that person is for that uh, person in heart to heart wise without knowing the real situation so even in our life uh, we may come across hurdles created by own friends own relatives own boss own official subordinates and whom we know but please take it in a positive sense and how, how uh, we should take it is just how you make uh, uh, what is it uh, all the mix all the ingredients for a uh, pan pancake or a cake we put all the ingredients and mix it but when you taste it without one or the other uh, it doesn't uh, taste the way it is cooked at the end after mixing all the ingredients so also our life irrespective of the unpleasant situation in each of the aspect uh definitely when everything is put together it will make it for our good and that is where we also encourage our learners to have the confidence in god and that is where the spiritual intelligence of a learner will have stability in the emotional intelligence and also give presence of mind for the iq that is our intelligence quotient uh, to be in force amidst the challenges and demands so oh, with this i hand over the session to dr prasita unikrishnan thank you uh, so much uh, for the inputs dr dorothy nada so dear students you would have listened uh, to various inputs uh, throughout this induction meeting 
and I'm sure uh, you would have got enough food of thought uh, for today's session. However, I insist that uh, learners please give at least five more minutes, five crucial minutes. I'm just going to sum up all the important points which you should know as an IGNO learner. These are some do's and don'ts of being an IGNO learner. And this uh, checklist will in fact enable you to complete your program in a successful way. So uh, please uh, uh, have the patience to listen and to answer five, 10 minutes. First of all, let me congratulate you all for being an IGNO learner. The first and foremost thing which you as an IGNO learner should remember is your enrollment number, which is 10 digits. Many a times students do confuse this enrollment number with their control number. So I request students not to confuse uh, between the control number. Control number is only valid till you get your admission confirmed. After that, control number is of no use. That is the registration number or your admission number. So what you have to remember is your 10 digit enrollment number because many a times we do have students coming to us with their control number and not their enrollment number. So a uh, control number, once you get admitted to an IGNO program, you should not be remembering your control number, but you should be remembering only your enrollment number that is 10 digits and this 10 digit enrollment number should be remembered by you till the time you successfully complete your program from IGNO. Also, you should remember your program code and course code. Program code like M MCOM program, the program code is MCOM. Uh, MA psychology program, the program code is MAPC. So these are the codes which are given for each of the program and I'm sure uh, you must have joined to various programs of IGNO, uh, so BCA, MCA. So every program has a program code. So that code should be definitely remembered by the students. If it is BA general program, the program code is BAG. So uh, because many times we do observe that even while writing the examinations, the students sometimes ask the invigilator, what is my program code? So as an IGNO student, you should definitely know your enrollment number and your program code. Third thing which is very important and uh, is to know your course code. Every uh, program, the subjects for the first year or uh, which you have to study. Course code is basically the subjects. Okay, now uh, the subjects like MCOM 1, 2, 3, uh, this will be the course code. So that course code also you need to remember and there will be a title for the uh, subject or so like it would be if it is a subject on research methodology uh, that subject you should remember this will help you uh, like you should exactly know which are the course codes which i have to study course codes are basically the subjects for the first year which you have to study it, it may be four subjects or it may be five subjects depending upon the program every uh, different every program has a different subject then uh, the next very, very important thing which I would like to highlight here is you need to check your registration details from the IGNO website. Under student support, you can go to the student zone. Uh, please click on student support in the home page of IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in and go to student zone. Uh, uh, click on the registration details. There is a link called registration details. Please click on it and you put in your enrollment number and your program code and uh, you get your complete details, which includes your name, address, your validity period for your program. As uh, mentioned earlier, every program has a minimum and maximum validity period. Like uh, for a bachelor's degree program, the minimum validity period is minimum duration which is taken for completing a max uh, bachelor's degree program is three years and the maximum duration is five years so please uh, remember the minimum duration and maximum duration of your program for normally for a bachelor's level program the minimum duration is three years and the maximum duration is five years similarly for a master's level program the uh, minimum duration is two years and the maximum duration is four years so please check up 
what is the validity period of your program because after the because after the validity period there will be no further extension because readmission is not available as per the present igno norms so try and complete your program within the maximum duration of your program uh, any uh, and with respect to your igno id card kindly uh, download your igno id card uh, as soon as possible as after as in when your admission gets confirmed also check your name your address your phone number all these credentials have to be correct otherwise you won't get any information on your phone number so in case your phone number which you have given is not correct you won't won't be getting any intimations on uh, from the regional center or for the study center because usually nowadays uh, the intimations are given um, through sms or maybe through whatsapp or maybe through email so please uh, ensure that your registered email address uh, and your phone number is correct and also any small changes in your name uh, which might have happened at the time of taking admission kindly write to us at rc question at the rate igno.ac.in enclosing your igno id card your ID card is a very, very important document, especially your IGNO ID card, because whenever you come for any uh, examination or your project viva or any of the communication uh, pertaining to the program you have enrolled for IGNO, please ensure that your IGNO ID card is there with you and any communication you send to RC Ochin at the rate igno.ac.in, kindly make it a point to mention your enrollment number and your program code very clearly. Since uh, uh, many times students casually write me emails at rcquestion at the rate igno.ac.in, wherein the student just mentions his name and his query, but there is no mention of his enrollment number or his program code. So we would be unable to respond in case uh, uh, you do not put in your enrollment number, your program code, and your phone number correctly. Also, please try and download your ID card from your uh, from the IGNO admission portal presently till the session gets over. I always request the students that uh, if you are taking admission in January session, as before the January admission cycle closes, all students should definitely download their IGNO ID card. In case the student is facing any problem with respect to downloading his IGNO ID card, please feel free to write to us at RC Kuchin at the rate igno.ac.in and we will assist in downloading the same. However, downloading of IGNO Igno ID card can be usually done by logging in to your username and password which you had used at the time of IGNO admissions. Using your username and password, you can easily download your IGNO ID card. Uh, once you download the ID card, to open it again when password is sought, please remember your enrollment number is your password for downloading the ID card. So please keep the ID card as IGNO ID card as it is very, very essential till the time uh, even after completion of your program while getting your convocation degree certificate also, the IGNO ID card is very, very essential. Next, coming to the study materials. Under the study materials, or an ME psychology program, please download the respective program guide. Go through it thoroughly. If your uh, program also has a project component or uh, a practical component, please download the project guide or the practical guide of the respective program. And in case uh, uh, you have opted for hard copy of the study materials, the same would also be sent to you at your registered address very soon in case you have not received it. But Till that time, uh, you can please download the soft copy of your study materials from the key Gyan Kosh link available on the IGNO website and please start studying right now because IGNO means self-learning. Here, no one is there to be after you. 
to tell us that you you need to do this, you need to do that. Self motivation is the only key to be being an igno learner, and with this self motivation only you can move ahead with your program. So please remember that you need to be very clear that I want to do, I want to complete my program within the minimum duration, and I these are the subjects which I have to complete, and what what all materials you need to download for uh, writing the examinations, writing the assignment questions. So for those. Uh, uh, so program guide will give you the complete information about your program. Also remember the name of your study center. It's code, address, email ID and contact numbers. Because after this induction session, uh, we are consolidating the data. And after that, uh, once you uh, visit your study center, uh, you should be visiting only after a few days. And you should know exactly where your study center is, its code, address, email ID, and contact numbers because study center is your first contact center as an IGNO learner. And second thing is now you have registered for the first year or the first semester of your program. So students have to remember that, uh, especially for uh, semester based programs as in when like uh, BCA and CA are all semester based programs for semester based programs. They have to re register for the second year, second semester or second year. So learners who got admitted to for two to three years program of IGNO need to re register for the second semester, second year online. Now you are all students of January admission cycle. So definitely for those semester uh, students who are having semester based programs as and when the July admission cycle opens at that time, you need to pay your fees for the second semester, uh, second semester. And for those who have registered for the uh, yearly program like the BA general or MCOM or your uh, MAPC program, which are all yearly programs, they have to re-register for the second year in the January 2023 admission cycle. It is at that time when the second year fees has to be paid. Many requests uh, during the admission session were also received from students wherein uh, it was informed that uh, uh, that change of electives is not possible for BA, BCom, BSc programs after the July 2019 session. As you all know, it is the choice-based credit system, which is the uh, which is the uh, which is for the BA, BCom, and BSc programs and under CBCS programs. Change of uh, uh, courses is not possible, so uh, this request cannot be processed. With respect to assignment questions. Please download your assignment questions from the IGNO website. Please go to student zone under student zone uh, under student support. Go to student zone and go to assignments and assignments are to be submitted at the study center only in your own handwriting, either through the hard copy or soft copy as per the link which is available on the RC Cochin website HTTP RC Cochin dot IGNO dot AC dot IN. So uh term and examination also as you uh, as you all know term and examinations of igno are conducted mostly in june and december in a year however due to the current pandemic situation there has been some delay in the conduct of examinations however those who have registered for yearly programs like bcom ba uh, mapc all such programs uh, they would be giving their examinations in December 2022. Uh, and uh, those who have registered for semester programs, they need to appear like for certificate programs or semester based programs. They need to, as and when the June term and examinations online, June term and examinations 2022 online link opens, uh, you need to re register, you need to apply for your examinations through online only. The form for the examination has to be submitted online only through the link which will be available on the IGNO website. And all question papers can be downloaded from the IGNO website under Student Zone. And uh, this will be very helpful to the student in his or her preparations uh, for the examination of the chosen program. 
It is also informed that once the student completes the program, the provisional and the grade card is usually sent directly by the student evaluation division, IGNU headquartered Delhi, uh, maybe within uh, two months after completion of the program. Uh, however, due to the COVID, and COVID situation, there can be some delay. Now, please, uh, uh, it has been informed that there is a, uh, there is an induction guidelines uh, which is uploaded on the RC coaching website. The January 2022 induction guidelines has been uploaded on the RC coaching website, https rccoaching.igno.ac.in. Please uh, download uh, this induction guidelines. It's a 10 page booklet, I must say, and very, very important. Whatever we have shared uh, information to you in this induction meeting can be uh, can be in a written form in this induction guidelines. So please go through this induction guidelines thoroughly as this will be uh, give you an idea on how you as an IGNO learner can uh, successfully complete your program from IGNO. Uh, even all the web links uh, uh, which uh, are being shared here. Uh, how to download those web links? All information is given in this induction guidelines. Uh, in fact, we did send the students SMS uh, informing about the guidelines. I hope all students of the January 2020 session, 2022 session have received the induction guidelines as SMS. And in case you have not received it, Please uh, go to RC Coaching website, http rccoaching.igno.ac.in and kindly download the induction guidelines and go through it nicely. So these were some of the points which I thought I should be sharing with you all. Uh, before I close the session, I would just like to briefly uh, give you an information about how to download the IGNO card, uh, IGNO ID card for those students who were unable to download their ID card using their username and password. Please log into this uh, website https igno.samarth.edu.in. I once again repeat for downloading your IGNO ID card, please uh, log into the H uh, IGNO website https slash igno.samarth.edu.in. Click on services, uh, uh, click on services, uh, click on the new registration icon which is given down and click on services. Under services comes the ID card and you can download the ID card uh, using this. And the download ID, downloaded ID card is a password protected PDF format. Once you en uh, enter the enrollment number as password, you can open the file. So this is how you can download the IGNO ID card. So uh, I hope uh, we have been able to uh, give you all the information which is required for being an IGNO learner. And uh, uh, finally, I would like to conclude by saying that IGNO means self-motivation. And only if you are self-motivated, you can complete your program from IGNO successfully. Hence, uh, uh, I wholeheartedly wish that all of you have the self-motivation and I'm sure whatever tips and points which have been shared uh, can be utilized uh, to enable you complete your program successfully from IGNO. Thank you once again. And on behalf of all at IGNO Regional Center Kuchin, even our technical team uh, who is live streaming this Facebook live session, uh, Sri Mohammad Ansa, Sri Sebastian, who has assisted us with live streaming this uh, Facebook live session. I wholeheartedly thank you, sir. And I also thank our uh, regional director, Dr. G.S. Toroti, under whose uh, guidance this session could be held. I also like to thank my colleagues uh, uh, who are all part of this session, uh, Dr. V.T. Jalja Kumari, who also took her session. Uh, I'm very much thankful to her for that. I also would like to thank Ms. Sujini Babu, uh, Ms. Sebastian De Cruz, uh, uh, who are also taking respective sessions uh, in this induction meeting. And uh, I'm sure with all the inputs which have been provided uh, to all of you, uh, you all would be able to successfully complete your program from ICNO. And thank you once again for listening to us patiently. And I'm sure uh, you have taken time out of your busy schedule to attend this induction meeting. Uh, uh, once again, on behalf of all, I wholeheartedly thank you. Thank you.